Hi everybody, it's Brett Miller again and today we're going to go through our Google Calendar. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, as we did last time, is pull out your browser. Again, I'm going to use Firefox. Uh, you can use Chrome, Internet Explorer, Opera, or a Firefox. Uh, again, you want to log in or get to Google. So if you have it bookmarked, you can pull up your bookmark, enter your username and password. And if you again haven't, you can just type in google.com, go to the search engine page, and click on our sign in. Once we're here, this is again where we can log in to our account by entering in the username and password. And once we have done that, again our indication that we are into our account is up here now we see the account owner's name. Uh, Pastor Richard McKay is, is this account uh, again. So now we want to get to calendar. Um, so how do we get there? Well again, up in the upper top black area here is a menu and this menu has all the different applications we're going to click on calendar and so what ends up happening is all of a sudden we are going to see our calendar now so we are in our calendar position and the first thing I want to just talk about is again what we can do to the calendar so here's our gears which is our settings let's click on settings and we now are in the back of the calendar that can tell us so we can make all the different changes we want to. Um, I was going to make uh, the default view as a month. So I'm going to make that change. Click Save. And now you can see that I'm seeing it in a month's view instead of a week. Um, so. Uh, let's see where let's see okay so now we're in our Google Calendar um, so we want to now add an event so the easiest way to create an event is to go to the day that you want to enter it and the reason that's an e the easiest way is it takes that date and you don't have to retype it or you can just click create which then is going to ask you or you're going to have to change the date if it's not the date that's today so let's try it both ways so I'm going to call it create an event we click on it and as I said it's showing me it's in today's uh, uh, today because I did not click on a particular day so let's put Bible study. We are going to make it on at six o'clock. It doesn't repeat and it's at Hope Friends Church. And then all we have to do is click save and now you'll see right here that our event has been created. Now again, uh, the net, the other way you can do is just go to, so say we have a Bible study that's on the 21st. Click on that day and it's already got my date already set. So, of course, the ladies have a Bible study on here. and we have it set and saved and now we've got the ladies Bible study on the 21st okay so now if you look at this calendar for New Hope they have basically um, or they have a couple of re or uh, several repeating events and so they have a Bible study every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. They have, of course, worship service every Sunday at 10 and Sunday school at every 9. 
So now what I want to show you is how to set up a repeat event. So we're going to do a Friday night event and we're going to start, this is going to be the first day, so August 10th will be the first day. And this is going to be another Bible study. And this is going to repeat. So I am going to, uh, oh, first I'm going to turn off it being all day, and I'm going to indicate what time. So this is a 5 o'clock start. And we're going to repeat this. So when I click on the repeat button, I'm going to get questions as to when, how this repeats. So it's a repeat weekly, which is correct. So you can set up all different kinds of repeats in situations, monthly, yearly, whatever it might be, daily. So you've got all kinds of options. You can tell it how many weeks it's going to run. Um, you're going to tell it which day it is always going to be on. Um, you could say when it's starting, which is the date that we started. Uh, here's the end date. So you can have this go forever, or you can set it up to uh, go to a certain time. Um, so once you're comfortable with all your settings, you click Done. And so now we're going to add where it is at. and we're going to click save and you can see right here so the first day that I started was on the 10th of August from that point on that is now repeating every every week on my Google Calendar so um, now I am in uh, so I'm in the month of August I want to see how it looks in September and as you can see here, here's my repeat. It's continuing to go. Um, it's showing it there. Now the ones that I did, just the two uh, individuals, they're not here. Um, so you can see that that's not uh, the case. So you can go through each month. You can set up um, anything as far out as you want. It goes unlimitedly. Um, and a quick way to get back is click the Today button. And now I'm back to our day here. So you can see this is a fairly simple, easy way to manage your um, Google Calendar. It, it's just add an event. It can be repeats. It can be just individual events. Uh, so this is where you can add your VBS, your special events, uh, anything that you might have going on that you want to let the church know. Because this, this calendar is now going to be on your website. And it's important that it's kept up to date and so that people can get the information when they need it. So here is how you can make those changes. So again, if you have any questions on this, certainly let me know. Email me and I can help you go through this. Uh, but the calendar is pretty straightforward. I think most of you should have no problems with it. And I hope you use it to the fullest and keep it up to date. So next we're going to talk about the website. Um, we'll go through how to add pages and make changes and things of that nature. So until then, thanks and God bless. Bye-bye.